So in the previous video, I showed you how to make a custom function. And the thing about custom functions and macros is they only work when the workbook that you created them in is open. But you might want it to work more often or be able to send it around for other people to work. So it will work on any workbook, doesn't matter what it is. And that is something called an add-in. So what I want to do is I want to be able to save this as an add-in so that I can open it. Now, in truth, I wouldn't have all the rest of this workbook. It'd just be a blank workbook with the Visual Basic in the background with those functions in there. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into Developer at the top here. I'm going to go to the Visual Basic and I'm going to copy all of this because I want this to belong in its own workbook so that it's available everywhere. So let's, in fact, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to remove it from here because I won't need it in here anymore. Let's hit cut, let's save it. Let's go back to here, back to the workbook, and I'm going to close it. And I've got my workbook here, just workbook one. I'm gonna go back to my developer, go to Visual Basic. I'm going to do my insert module. I've got a new module. I'm just going to paste this in. Okay, and as I've said before, this works the same Windows or Mac. Okay, so they're both in there. I'm now going to go back to my workbook. Let's just have a quick check here. Let's go insert function. Let's go to down here where it's got user defined. Great, both of them are there. Let's just hit cancel. I need to save this as an add-in to work. And when you save it as an add-in, it will put it into a particular folder where all of the add-ins are. You don't have to worry about where that is because it's going to do that for you automatically. So let's do this by going into File, Save As. I'm going to save it on this PC. I'm going to call this Gary's Macros and Functions. I've only got functions here at the moment. You can see it's going to save it at the moment as an Excel workbook. I don't want that. Let's just click on this drop down here and down here, it's got Excel add-in. You can see it's got a different extension, XLAM. Let's choose it. And you can see at the top here, it's showing me the path of where it's saving it into this add-ins folder. Let's hit save. It's done. Now what I need to do is add it in so that it opens automatically every time. Let's go to Excel. Let's go to the add-ins. Oh, whoops, I made a little typo there. doesn't matter. Let's tick that box. This is where all my add-ins are. I've ticked it. Click on OK. Now, this is available on any workbook whenever I open it. Let's just close Excel. Let me call this one here as well. Gary's macros and functions. So I've got it as a backup. Click on save. Let me open up Excel. Let's choose a blank workbook. All being well, when I click on insert function here now, go to here, under user defined. Hey presto, there are my functions. Ready to go every time. So now you could send that workbook with your functions and macros, send it to someone else who needs to use it and tell them to add this in through the add-ins and then they've got them too. If you wanna know more about the custom function, then check out that video. I've got other videos coming on macros and some that I've already created so you can go and check those out as well. If this video has helped you, please do click on like, share and subscribe and come back for more. Thanks for watching.